As the seed head matures, you can see the dark awn forming. On the end of this awn, the seed is developing. When the seed detaches easily from the plant, the seed is mature. Often you'll only find one mature seed in a kangaroo grass head and one or two other seeds that are less mature. To collect the seed, you can simply find the mature seed and collect it. However, this is very time consuming, so seed collectors generally collect the whole head knowing that only one or two of the seeds will be fully mature and therefore capable of germination. Seed cleaning really is about doing what you need to do to get the seed. And unfortunately for Themida, there isn't a really good technique that I know of. Often when it dries, you'll find a lot of it just collects in the bottom and you'll be able just to put that to one side. But there will be quite a bit that just sticks in amongst these heads and will be quite tricky to, to clean. And so this is one technique that I use. You might come up with a better one, but I don't know of one at the moment. So I'm just patting this into a serviette or piece of cloth. This doesn't do your serviette any good whatsoever, so don't use your Christmas serviettes. But you will find that by just patting it, the seed sticks to the cloth. And then you can pick them off one at a time. And uh, it is a slow technique, but it does get the job done and you end up with very good clean seed. Right. And I'll just take that one out because that's not clean. There. The mantle longifolia, the spiny headed mat rush, is a popular revegetation plant. The male and female flowers are on separate plants and not every plant will flower every year. After flowering the seed capsules develop and they turn from tan to sort of a purpley, purpley black colour when ripe. The next plant that we're looking at with drying technique is Lamandra longifolia. Now this is a mainstay of a lot of revegetation projects, particularly around creek zones. And I've picked this one here and it's, you can see that it's dark, it's shiny, you can see the valve lines in it, but really it's a little bit tricky to see whether or not it's mature. But this one, I've picked two or three days ago, it's opened up nicely, the seeds are fully formed and it's looking quite good and it only takes a little bit of tapping and the seeds start to fall out. One of the things to consider I suppose with this plant is that sometimes these capsules aren't always this dark brown, they can be medium brown or in purple and so you don't have to wait for the light brown ones to turn purple because all the seeds will have vanished by that time. There are a large number of plants in the geranium family and they're one to observe carefully. They expel their seeds with explosive force so it's easy to miss their collection time. Once they're open like this, the seed's been released. The curly bit of the capsule catapults the seed away from the parent plant. Even the disturbance of touching the seed capsule can trigger this catapulting action. This capsule has seed in it at the very base. Most seed will last on your plants for a couple of weeks, sometimes even months. But there are some plants where timing is very, very imperative. And this is where I'm showing the geranium seed. It's, um, it just has days. It's days between being fully formed and fully okay and then exploding off. And so if you're not there the day before that it's, it's mature um, and collect it then, but the next day you come back, it will be gone. Storing seed is like storing wine. Store seed in a cool dark place that's an even temperature and has low humidity. Do not store seed in the windowsill or on the dashboard. It's too hot. We've got all this high quality clean and dry seed. It's time to consider how do we store it. There's two methods. One is to put it into some high quality plastic bags with your desiccant gel sacks 
and then putting that into another container that's also got good insulation qualities. And that plastic bags are quite useful because they don't take up very much space. But the other method is to put things into a jar. Again, with your desiccant gel sacks, and then you can store them. Okay. And a good way of storing these seed is to keep the humidity very, very even. And the way of doing that is adding your desiccant gel sacks to your jar. Now, where do these come from? Shoe boxes, electronic equipment, and my favorite, tacos. And so you can get a nice collection if you just have a couple of Mexican nights. But this is a good way of storing your seed. How long will your seed last? For most plants, three to five years, under very minimum conditions of storage. And that is low light, even temperature, and even humidity. Now that's often putting them in the jars with the desiccant gel sacks and then putting them in the cupboard and that will be fine. There are a couple of plants you should consider putting in the refrigerator and that would be clematis, eumelicitis and the bursaria. They're fairly short-lived plants in general and they certainly like being stored in cold conditions. But everything else that we've been treating today and dealing with today, that should last quite readily for five years. I hope you found this DVD to be a great starting point and I hope you have a lot of fun with your seed collection. And I wish you well with your germination. See you in the field.